When casting Skagit from river right, a double spay can be a great cast to use. Simply create the cast by flopping the rod, bringing the line up into position, and again, the tip of the fly line with my position equals my forward target. Then, simply bring the rod back and over the top, dumping the fly line, and use this method right here to get that anchor point closer to your position. And when it's close into position, simply reach back, make your forward stroke, and that lead core tip will launch to wherever you want it to cast to. Use from river left will generate a lot of line speed. It's a spiral single. And a spiral single requires us to reposition the fly line from our downstream side on my left up on my right side. We do that with a spiral configuration that the rod tip follows through as it comes over my right shoulder. One of my favorite casts to use from river right is a spiral double. Spiral double tends to put the anchor point right on the water, almost in perfect position, as well as generates a lot of line speed for a forward stroke that results in a little bit more distance. A great cast to also cast in to the wind. We start with our rod tip very low to the water surface at this point. I'm trying at this point to take the fly line, position it from below me, out in front with a spiral path lifting up to my left, creating a spiral in the air, and then reaching with acceleration out in front of my position with my arms fully extended. Once the fly line falls to the water surface, all we need to do at this point is form a D-loop by pulling the rod backwards, lifting up, hesitating a split second, and then making our forward stroke. This cast, a great cast from River Right, looks something like this. Notice the position of the anchor point as it falls to the water. During our Skagit cast, there's a few things that can go wrong, and one is the setup. If I use a double spay and anchor this fly line on the water surface, when I dump the line in the forward stroke, the problem is using too much power or too much of a lift to dump the forward stroke. What happens is the anchor point comes flying off of the water. We want to keep the anchor point in position where we want it to be, one rod's length away off to my side, 90 degrees for my target, and when it is in that position, very little acceleration is used on the forward dumping motion, which is simply dumping the cast in front of us and keeping one of the most common problems when setting up the anchor point with a Skagit line is that the anchor extends too far away from my position upstream. If this happens, use a little less acceleration and lift to get the anchor point upstream, but also after your initial lift, dip down with the rod, then come over the top. The dipping down motion with the rod tip as we set the anchor point up into position causes it to fall to the water surface to where we want it to hold to. Once it's anchored on the water surface, in casting and fishing spay lines, it's very common for us to shoot fly line to the target. An example would be that the fly line I'm using here has approximately a 50 foot head or belly to it. Well, if I want to shoot out to 80 feet, I'm going to have to shoot 30 feet of fly line with that 50 foot belly to achieve my desired distance. The problem really occurs when we strip fly line in and we simply just try to hold a bunch of loops with our bottom hand. When we make our forward stroke, a lot of time these loops will tangle around the rod and won't efficiently travel through the guides towards the target. Here's a much better way to handle the shooting line with your bottom fingers and your bottom hand when we make that cast. Common casting problem with the snap T. A couple different things. Once we create our snap, let the fly line fall to the water surface before we start the rest of the casting stroke. And when we start the rest of the casting stroke, which is simply pointing to the target and reaching back to load up the D-loop, the height of the rod tip as it swings around through the path is extremely important. The rod tip after I snap, 
fly line is set up. The rod is low, below the top of my head. I reach to the target, and now it is the same height as my head. As I come back away from that target, 180 degrees, the rod tip is gonna slightly descend the snake roll, which is again a great cast to use from River Riot. Several things that usually go wrong with the snake roll. The most common problem encounter is the rod lifting up too high and reaching too far over to my left. What this does is brings the anchor point too close to my body or will cross over in front of me when I make my forward stroke after I load my D-loop up, the bottom of that anchor point can come up and hit me.